Hi guys, today I wanted to talk about five habits I want to get rid of in 2024. So not only this year, forever actually. And yeah, we'll start directly with habit one. This is something I have a problem with since years and it's snacking out of boredom. I don't know why I always have to do something with my hands or yeah, just doing something and even by with watching a movie i just can't lay down and watch it i always have to go on my phone or snack and yeah when i have short pauses between work i'm always like yeah okay what can i do now and then i'm like yeah i could eat an apple and i could eat that and that's so annoying because i eat so much more that i don't need because i don't listen to my hunger and i'm definitely not hungry but i still eat something just because i want to have something to do so that's something i really want to focus on this year because it annoys me so much then the second habit i got a lot better with it but i still spend a lot of time on instagram i think it's about an hour or a little less a day and that's still too much for myself i think so um so i have that little trick that's actually for children i don't know if you know that but um you can yeah make create a code so children actually can't access an app or the internet after a limited time is off and i have that with my boyfriend so my boyfriend has a code for the instagram app and i have I think it's 55 minutes a day and when I use the 55 minutes up I can't access Instagram anymore uh, except my boyfriend types in the code I don't know so <laughs> that's something I asked him to do it's quite funny but I like it that way and I really don't know what the code is and I always tell him that he should not tell me and don't show me and that works really well so if I have to look something up or want to reply to somebody i always ask him and it's like not in a parent child situation that he's like yeah no you can't do that but it gives me a lot more control about myself because we don't see each other uh, during the day because he's at work i'm at work and so yeah if i'm too much on instagram during the day i'm yeah it's my fault and i can't go on it and i have to find something else to entertain me and that works really good for me but I am, yeah, I still want to, yeah, get the time down and limit it even more because I don't know, it's like, I think with half an hour a day, I will be fine. But yeah, almost an hour is too much. I think it, it would be really interesting if you can tell me how much uh, time you spend on Instagram, because I have to say, I don't use TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter. I know I i think it's not called twitter anymore i i don't know that because i don't use it um so the only thing i have is instagram and i really like to spend my time there so yeah that's something i want to slow down a little bit more the next thing i really want to concentrate on this year is not skipping my skincare routine in the evening it's such a mess because i'm always coming home we're eating dinner and then we're on the couch, reading, talking, watching TV, something like that. And then I'm getting too tired. And the, the only thing I still can do is to wash my face, brush my teeth. But I don't do all the steps of my skincare routine. I wish I would. And yeah, that's something I really want to concentrate on. Because my goal for this year is to get my skin in a very good Form. <laughs> so yeah I hope I can do a little bit better in that I, I even made a little plan and the notes of my phone to yeah write down which serum I use on what day and it has not worked really well the last few days so it worked well in the beginning of course as always but yesterday I forgot I only washed and cleaned my face and that was it so 
yeah i i have to work on that because that's something i really want to do this year get a good skin and longer better hair but yeah that's something i don't have a problem with my hair care routine works well <laughs> the next thing and i know i'm not the only one is that when my alarm clock goes off I turn it off, but I don't stand up directly. I still, I just turn around and sleep. <laughs> it's so annoying. And I know I feel a lot worse when I sleep again for only a few minutes. So I really want to stand up directly when my alarm clock goes off and it's so difficult. And I, th that's a bit tricky. I'm actually not a morning person. I'm always tired in the morning and I, hate waking up in the morning but on the other side i love mornings and i love to be awake early so you will never find me sleeping in until 10 a.m 9 a.m i think on the first of january we slept until 9 a.m and that was really late for us so we yeah usually always wake up at the same time even uh, on a weekend so yeah that's something we really do and like but we or at least i need an alarm clock and that's so annoying i wish i would be a morning person but i am not and i have to want to get uh want to get in the routine too yeah hear my alarm clock turning it off and standing up but actually she's so i don't know if you see her but kylie is not good in that situation because we always cuddle in the morning in our bed and she's so cozy and warm and it's so nice so that makes it a lot harder to go out of bed and yeah so i blame it on her <laughs> no that was a problem or it is a problem i have since ever yeah but now with you it's a little, even a lot harder my love and the last habit i need to really get rid of and a lot i got a lot better in the last few weeks month i started with it kind of last in the yeah last part of 2023 is overthinking and stressing about everything that hasn't even happened yet it's a big problem that i have and i read a quote and it was like if you worry about things that haven't even happened yet you're putting yourself through the situation twice and that's so true and oftentimes the situation don't even happen so yeah i'm thinking about everything and stressing about everything that won't even take place so that's really annoying because that is something that i feel and that distracts me from my everyday life so i can't go to sleep can't go in bed because when I go to bed and close my eyes, my brain is like, okay, let's think about everything that happened that could have. And let's go through your whole life and think about all the possibilities that could make your life worse. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's really hard because I'm actually not a pessimistic person. I'm really optimistic, but that overthinking is something I don't know why I do it. And I really want to get better in focusing and bundling my thoughts i started to journal kind of but yeah i'm i don't know it's like when i have these thoughts i don't get up and write it down so it's it's difficult but what kind of helped me is meditation because then i meditate during the day or in the early evening when i have time so i don't do it as often as i wished and and then I'm getting myself in a mood where I can think about things or actually after the meditation and then thoughts come and go and that's the time where I prepare myself and I lay or put my notebook next to me and that works kind of but I have to still think about solutions to even get better in not having to overthink and putting the thoughts aside so if you have tips for me if you're an overthinker too and you know very good tips and hacks that with that you cured your overthinking 
that would be really nice because yeah that's something i really want to get rid of because it's not even annoys me it even annoys my boyfriend because it's like yeah don't, don't worry it's, it's like it's all gonna be fine and i'm like yeah well what if not <laughs> and that's yeah that's not good so we want to live happy and be optimistic and everything happens for a reason so everything will be fine in the end and if it's not it's not the end very poetic at the end <laughs> all not mine i don't know where i got the quotes from but that really fit very well right here and yeah that's it perhaps you want to tell me what habits you want to get rid of that would be really interesting and i hope you have a nice day and we will see you in the next video bye